Hey guys, it's Vince. Today I'm going to discuss a product that has been in design for quite some time. I've had more requests for this component, uh, more than probably anything other than drives, and that is my new assembled 18-4 double shielded cables. Uh, these cables now are built in 26 foot lengths so they can accommodate most of your applications. They do have our trusty GX16 five pin connectors installed on both sides. You can see here we've got our actual mylar foil shielding and of course tin braided copper, tin braided copper being number one, mylar foil number two. Uh, on the GX16 five pin connector because I get a lot of questions on why am I using a five pin connector with a four lead cable. Well you need the fifth pin to be isolated to your ground drain. Okay, and then you'll use your ground bar inside your electronic enclosure to ground the actual drain on the cables. Uh, these units are wired straight through, which simply means that it passes signals uh, symmetrically from one end to the other. So for motor cables, perfect design, but of course you can use these across the board for other applications. If you're building a plasma system, double shielded cables are mandatory. You could use this cable, for instance, for your THC. You would simply use uh, a different colored pin allocation, typically of the wired leads on one end, and that would be on your THC end, and then on the other end, you'd use, you know, wherever the panel mount you're going to plug into, you would actually, once again, use different color leads there, or actually the same leads as your THC, depending upon your configuration. So, again, I know I'll get questions on that, but rest assured, if you needed an extension cable, excellent. Motor cables is truly what they're designed for. Again, you can see that 5-pin GX16, and again, these are bulletproof as far as EMI protection. Now, I want to show you what the cable looks like out of the package, give you an idea of quality, because many of you already know I do not cut corners on that at all. The finish on these is beautiful. There's the actual cable end. Um, they are, of course, 300 volt rated, 80 degrees cell, so we're looking at that 176 degree temp rating. Super, super flexible cable. I mean, really, really nice design. Uh, I get a lot of questions on the outer diameter because guys are always concerned about their cable chain. These are only six millimeter outer diameter each. Okay, so, I mean, other than getting the heads of them through, if you can disassemble your cable chain, essentially you can easily get these within, you know, a two, two and a half inch cable chain, no problem. Now, again, cable chains, and that's a good good thing to discuss, you really want to think about what you're going to put inside your cable chain, because a lot of guys forget that either they're not going to install a water cooling tubing to their spindle, or they are going to, and that can lead to a lot of problems. So always take your measurements carefully. If you want a quick and dirty way to give you a good, accurate measurement for what length cable you need, because we know that once you start wiring your cable chain, you eat up a lot of length, take a piece of string or yarn and just run it right through. It'll give you the same basic length dimensions and you'll be pretty much dead nuts on. Um, but again, you can see how these are designed. They're made extremely well. The quality is definitely there. I will be offering these cables in different formats. I know I get clients that'll want an individual cable. They'll want um, sets of three, sets of four, sets of six. If you guys need them in quantity, let me know for any guys out there uh, doing a retrofit, large scale, whether it be you know, I've had clients contact me with four or five machines and just want to replace all the cables. These are going to be your quickest way to be up and running. And I, and again, any guy who's built a motor cable will tell you there is uh, the most time typically spent. First, you have to figure out how to build a cable if you've never done it. And then, of course, doing it with this kind of accuracy and this kind of uh, professional product is difficult the first time. So you will save, no doubt, at least 30% of your time if you're assembling a new system with these cables. So factoring that in, I know the next question is, is what other components will I require to finish the cable if I'm, I want to install these on my system? You're going to require a 5-pin GX16 panel mount, which you can see right here. And this panel mount, because I get questions on this all the time, this is a male panel mount because you can see there are actual uh, pins there. And what it does is it installs in the back, let's say my hand is the enclosure, it installs in the back of the enclosure so you'll have pass-through to your actual drive to your drive or whatever component you're going to wire on this end to have pin out and once again send the signals from the, the actual cable to your uh, drive and vice versa. So the other connector you'll require is a buck connector. This is a GX16 five pin buck connector. This one you don't see too often. Um, I use them on all my pro grade systems. They're amazing. Once again, you can see the notch because GX16 connectors only go in one way. Um, soldering these connectors is again, must be done 
in a symmetrical format. The best way to solder on these connectors, I like starting from the bottom and working to the top. You always work the hardest connector and work to the easiest. That's my mentality. Everybody does it their own way. Um, I will soon probably do a video on that because I've gotten a lot of requests on that. But uh, overall, I'll be selling uh, this configuration with the actual cable itself and with the connectors. Um, so you'll have that configuration and then of course having the cable by itself. And that being said, I want to go over the pricing on these because I cannot emphasize enough how economical these really are. I mean, I've really worked hard to get them at a price point that I feel everyone can justify. Um, a bare cable, just this cable right here at 26 foot long, fully assembled with shipping is $55. Okay, that is really incredible. If you go to McMaster Car and just look at double shielded cable, um, first of all, you can't buy them in 26 foot long. And then on top of that, that's not, you factor in the shipping and there's no connectors attached. Guys, I'm telling you right now, it's hard to beat. It really, really is hard to beat. And I'm not a big stickler on prices because I try to stay reasonable, but I think those are really reasonable. If you need the connectors to finish your actual design as far as for your application, these are only an additional $10. So you're looking at 65 per cable. Now I will be putting packages together utilizing three and four and I'll try to drop the price as much as I can, but I'm telling you right now, these are really, really reasonable. I mean, really reasonable. Just the cost of the cable alone without the connectors, you'll find out how expensive 18.4 Double Shield it is. Um, again, it's, it's not the cheapest cable, but I promise you it will definitely pay for itself very quickly with the stability it provides your system. Okay, once again, if you guys are doing a plasma, these are mandatory all the way across the board. Whether you build them yourself or not, double shielded cables are mandatory. My mill guys, um, bulletproof signals, these are going to be your best friend. So again, if you guys do have questions or request custom quotes, message me direct at storm2313 at gmail.com or you can contact me uh, through my eDealer Direct store on eBay. I'm going to put links to these packages in the description and I'm also going to, once again, put my contact information in the description below. To all my subscribers, I love you guys. Um, we are growing very, very quickly and like I said in previous videos, I have a lot of new products this year to be released. Um, I, many of you have requested it and and there's some new kind of bonus products that I think many of you are going to like. So stay tuned. Thank you all for your support. Take care.